Hey guys, this is your host Eric. Today we are going to watch action genre movie called Clean. Spoilers ahead, turn on your subtitle, I greatly appreciate your support. Enjoy the video. Clean starts with a man named Clean, who works as a garbage man and moves trash every day in gang-controlled urban neighborhoods. When he's done with his job, Clean usually looks for scraps that could still be useful, fixes them up, and sells them to a thrift store was owned by someone he knew. Since he and his wife got a divorce, Clean has lived alone in a workshop, and his daughter has been dead for a long time. Clean always thinks about his daughter, and those thoughts hurt him because he always feels responsible for what happened to his beloved daughter. So, to make up for it, Clean pays more attention to his neighbor. Diana is a teenager who has never known her parents and only lives with her grandmother. In another place, a man named Michael can be seen waiting for his son, Mikey, in front of the prison gates. Mikey will be let out of prison today. Mikey, on the other hand, was picked up by his friends, and he would have rather gone with them than with his parents. Michael seemed annoyed by the way his son was acting, but he chose to ignore it while picking up trash in the area in the evening. Clean, I saw Michael and a few of his men doing some strange things in front of his restaurant. At that time, Michael and his men were also seen with weapons. But Michael didn't want to worry about it and kept doing his job as usual. Michael ran a restaurant, but he also smuggled drugs into the country. The drugs are brought into the country by hiding in the fish. Michael will then mix them up before putting them on the market. That night, Michael seemed upset because the package the seller sent from China didn't match what they had agreed on. Michael didn't know what to do. Clean saw Diana walking to school the next morning. Diana told Clean that there was no longer a school bus in the area and that her grandmother's car was having trouble, so she had to walk to school. Then Clean said he would drive Diana to school. After that, Clean gave Diana a used bike that belonged to his late daughter. He put it in front of the girl's house in a sneaky way. But when Diana's grandmother, Ethel, heard about what Clean had done, she left the house. The woman asked Clean why he cared so much about her. Granddaughter Clean only said that he did it to get rid of the guilt that always bothered him. Then, Ethel told Clean that he is a good person. On the other hand, Michael, who was buying and selling drugs, was annoyed again because the Chinese sellers kept sending packages that didn't follow the deal. Michael was so angry that he could no longer hold it in, so he beat the courier so hard that he died covered in blood. When Mikey saw what his father was doing, he was horrified by how cruel his father was. Michael is a crime boss who is respected by other gangsters. He also has a lot of power in the area, so he doesn't mind killing someone in the middle of the day on a public street. When Clean went to pick up the trash from Michael's restaurant that night, he was startled by a strong smell and fresh blood all over the trash can. Clean, who was interested, went to investigate. Then he tried to figure out where the smell was coming from, but Michael came up from behind him. Then Michael gave Clean some money to clean up the mess he had made. This afternoon, however, Clean won't and doesn't want to do anything. Michael then goes back to his job, which is to pick up. Clean was driving to work one day when his car broke down in the middle of the road. Not long after that, Clean saw a group of bad guys chasing a man. The thugs were able to catch the man and put him in a tight spot in a small alley. Then, when Clean tried to help the man, they caught up to him. One of the bad guys suddenly showed up behind Clean and hit him on the head until he passed out. After a while, Clean. When he finally woke up, he realized he was in the- A doctor later told Clean that the head wound was pretty bad and that Clean was lucky to be alive. The doctor told him to stay in the hospital and gave him some medicine, but he refused and went straight home instead. Clean met Diana when she was hanging out with some young criminals in the area. Clean was worried about the girl's safety and asked Diana to come home right away. Diana told Clean that he couldn't tell her what to do because he wasn't her. Then the young criminals kicked her out hard, even though she had refused at first. Diana finally did what Clean asked and left the delinquents right away. Michael, on the other hand, gets into a heated argument with his son over dinner. Michael is angry that Mikey would rather hang out with his friends than help him run a drug business. The fight between Mikey and his father got so bad that Mikey threatened his father with a knife if he kept making fun of Mikey's friends. Then Mikey decided to leave home. Clean found Diana's bike parked in front of an empty house that young criminals were using as a base camp. When Clean went in, he saw that Dee was being force-fed drugs and alcohol and that the young criminals were bothering her. The criminals even planned to record their bad behavior and show it to their other friends. Without stopping to think, they beat the thugs with an iron pipe right away. After beating them all up, I just found out that one of the kids was Mikey Michael's son. He had hit him so hard that he was badly hurt. Clean took Diana away from there right away, before the police and Mikey's father found out what he had done. Mikey finally went home after being treated in the hospital for several days. The doctor who took care of him then told Michael that Mikey's body would heal, but his face would never be the same because the damage was too bad, so plastic was the only option. Not only that, but Mikey can no longer speak normally because he hurt his vocal cords. The doctor told Michael to have surgery right away because if he waited too long, 
Mikey's other organs would have more problems. But Michael didn't seem to want to heal his son. Instead, he chose to let his son stay sick to punish Mikey for not listening to his parents' advice. Not long after that, a police officer named Frank goes to Michael and tells him that they found video footage of his son being beaten at the scene of the crime. From the video, it's clear that Clean was the one who beat him up. Clean's close relationship with Diana and Diana's grandmother. Then Michael tells Frank to kill them both, and then Frank brings Clean to Michael alive. This shows that Michael has control over the police in the area and uses them for his own purposes. Clean, who knew that Michael would get revenge for what happened to his son, rushed to get Diana and her grandmother out of the city and as far away as possible. On the way, a police car with a siren and a signal to stop made Clean pull over for a moment, had thought about going to the police so that Michael's men could save Diana and his grandma. But then Clean found out that Michael had been working with the police. So Clean stepped on the gas and ran away right away. After getting away from the police, Clean stopped at a restaurant where Diana and her grandmother were going to the bathroom. While they were gone, Clean broke into the door of one of the cars parked there and planned to take off in it to get away from the police and Michael's men. At the same time, though, one of Michael's goons saw Clean's car parked there and went straight there. Diana and Ethel, who know that Michael's men are at the entrance, try to get away and find a place to hide or another way out. Clean, who saw Michael's men arrive, then sneaked in through the back door, killed some of Michael's men, and found Diana and her grandmother hiding in the warehouse. Since Diana and Ethel had seen how Clean killed Michael's men so brutally, Clean finally told Diana and her grandmother that he used to be a professional killer. But after his daughter died, the king quit his job and moved to the city to live alone. Queen then works as a garbage man so that people don't think he's a bad person because of his past. After getting Diana and her grandmother to a safe place, he cleaned up and went back to his house to get some tools and all of his money. After that, Clean went to a friend's shop and bought some weapons. Had to fight Michael and the man helping him. Frank, who is at Michael's house, tells Michael that Clean is not just any person, but an ex-assassin known as the Angel of Death for how brutal he used to be. After that, Clean called Michael and told him he would be coming to see him. He knows that the Grim Reaper is coming for him. Michael then gets all of his men together and gets ready to fight Clean. Clean, on the other hand, is also getting ready to start its action with a variety of weapons that have been changed and the tools it needs. After everything was ready, Clean drove a garbage truck straight to Michael's house without giving him any notice, then run the garbage truck right into Michael's big house. The power goes out in the house all of a sudden, but Clean is able to kill all of Michael's men in the dark. Clean was about to find out where Michael was when he was surprised to see Michael come out of the coven. They fought hard, but Clean was able to knock the man out in no time. Clean was about to kill Michael in the same way. Mikey walked up to him out of nowhere and pointed a gun at him. When Michael saw this, he seemed happy because he thought Mikey would kill Clean. However, Mikey then shot and killed his father. Mikey was about to shoot Clean, but he ran out of bullets. So Clean, they were able to. At the end of the movie, we see Diana riding her bike through a city that is no longer being messed up by criminals and the mafia. When Diana saw Clean's garbage truck coming toward her, she stopped for a moment and smiled. We really appreciate you watching. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel with the notification bell because it is really important for us. Thank you.